Hello guys, welcome to the third tutorial of IIT355. Today we will be covering interactions in Vitali. So I have already imported the D3 library, the Vitali library, and the data set that I have taken from this link. Always make sure that you use d3.autotype whenever you are importing any data set. And also I've included some other libraries that I'm going to be using later in this lecture. Let's take a quick look at the data. It consists of a date, the level of precipitation, temperatures max and mean, wind speed, and the weather on that particular date. I have also added a quick plot where I am plotting on the x-axis the weather, which is of type nominal, and I am counting all the fields, so using an aggregated function, count. I am counting all the rows, and of course count is of type quantitative. I have chosen a bar plot based on the data that I have just imported, and this is how the plot looks. Instead of a simple blue bar chart, let's quickly add some color to it. I will copy paste this code. Put it down here and we'll encode a color to it. So I want to put the color on the weather field which is of type nominal and this is what we get. Next let's say we just want to see the weather for fog, rain and sun. To do this, let's copy paste this code again and I'll bring it down here and add scale to the x-axis. By writing something like this, so fog, rain and sun. Oops. There we go. We can also add scale uh, into the color field as well. So let's copy paste our previous plot. And add scale to it. Let's slightly change the parameters in this plot so that we can get a more a meaningful value or meaningful plot here. So I'll change this to temperature max, which means this should be quantitative. And also I'll use an aggregate function. count the mean. We can also choose different colors. So instead of scheme, I'm going to use a range and I'm going to say the colors purple and green. That way we will have the plot in this range. We can add more colors depending on the requirement. But this is how we can do it as well. Now let's take a look at sorting. So again going back and copying our previous plot. So the question says max wind. So instead of count let's do max as the field let's choose wind. And now we want to sort the x-axis based on the values of the y-axis. To do this, again sorting on the x-axis, so going on the x field, and write sort in quotations, write y. If you want to sort it in descending order, just minus y. If you wanted to sort it on x then we would have come to this field and 
would have written sort x or minus x. For each of these things, I have added a link which provides more details on how to work with them and other options it has. Next, let's see how is the weather in each month. Again, going back up and copy pasting the same plot. Let's change the field to date and also the type to ordinal. Wow, so that's a massive plot. Let's fix this. Let's come down here. Let's add another parameter here known as the time unit and let's say month. Now that's much better. Here you can see the pattern for sun, but it's not so clear how it is for snow and the other weathers here. So let's change this plot and make it a line chart. Let's do a few more modifications. Let's change this to mean and let the field be temperature max. Notice that this plot is kind of misleading. If you look at this blue li light blue line here, it shows that it snowed even in the summer. So maybe instead of a line chart, let's make it a point chart. That's much better. You can now see that there is a huge gap in snow from May to up until November. All right, so now instead of taking a look at the mean temperature, let's take a look at all the temperatures on every day of that year. So copy pasting it here again. And instead of mean, let's remove the mean. But this is not every day, so let's change this to month date. Now we get the entire dates. Instead of keeping the type ordinal, we can also change this to temporal. That way you will be able to see the data points over time. But unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to see anything here. So why don't we make it a little bit bigger? Let's add width, I don't know, maybe 700 and height 400. And how about instead of point, let's change this to circles. Now that looks pretty good. 